I want it to be chilled and not uh, something stiff like normally fine dining is. Uh, we like to be affordable, approachable. We try to promote something that is really more democratic, let's say. I'm Rigo Sesti. I'm the head chef at Jem by Jean-Michel Laurent. Jem opened eight years ago, sister restaurant of La Côte Saint-Jacques, that is a restaurant located in Burgundy, uh, where uh, Jean-Michel Laurent operates as a chef. Uh, it's a family restaurant that opened in the 45-ish, uh, last century. So it's a very long story, four generation work there, three mission staff for a long period, uh, and it's always from a father and son and, and so on. So this was actually the first restaurant that they opened abroad. And uh, before uh, Marine, so the daughter of Mr. Han was here as a restaurant manager. Uh, and we worked together for quite a, quite a while. And uh, well, now she just moved on and uh, we're still here representing uh, Laurent's family. The restaurant, so of course we represent Laurent's family and uh, all the recipes from their legacy. Uh, but we definitely try to adjust them to something completely local. So we use mainly local products and we really try to carry here ideas and tradition instead of products. Uh, and so we, we adjust everything to what we can find on a new terroir. I select the wine uh, concerned to the texture of the dish. So the mainly we have like a Burgundy wine because of the our restaurant from the Burgundy. So we have like a northern of the Chabis, Cordonnoy, Cordobon. We have so every operation. Actually, they have like a of uh, quite strong for the caviar. So we need wine to get like a high acidity to balance. White asparagus, now they're starting growing it here. The flavor is different. Uh, it's gonna have like a light coconut aftertaste because the, the ground is different. So same like for wines, if the ground is different, if the sun is different, the geography, everything will influence the product. So we just take it as it comes and try to adjust to the product instead of sticking to our products and just bringing what we would do in Europe. So we'll have uh, three dishes today. The first one, so is a Niçois salad with a pichad, uh, which is a traditional uh, recipe from uh, Menton. It's a city in uh, uh, south of France. Uh, so that they're close by, Niçois from Nice, pichad, Menton. Uh, so very Mediterranean. So we switch all these ingredients in, in order to achieve the same flavor profile, but with something local. And uh, by doing that process, I think that is, what's interesting is that we touch memory sense for foreigners or French, but we also stimulate a different memory sense for Thais or Asian, where they're gonna try something that they're very familiar with, but in a way they never tasted it before. And so something will ring in, in their head and say like, oh, I know this, I know this, but is yet different from what they know. Second dish uh, will be a red snapper uh, with a brochette uh, of uh, different capsicum and uh, alliums, uh, garlic tone and Thai shallots, uh, basil, uh, uh, fennel and uh, is uh, grilled, lightly smoked, and with uh, stock infused with uh, pesto. And then for the last one, it's a bit of a, it's a new dish that we just work and is kind of a gamble because it's a bit of an unusual pairing. But uh, as we've seen that they, uh, in Thailand, they use a shallot for desserts, uh, fried normally on top of some custard and something like this. So we want to try also to use a red onion for dessert. So onion is naturally very sweet, uh, so we uh, cook it uh, very bland as, as a jam a uh, long time together with mulberry and red wine. So the flavor of the onion is very smooth by the end. Uh, and, uh, and so we reproduce it a little bit as an onion in a shell and inside we have a, a mascarpone cream infused with winter spices and mandarin, a crumble also with winter spices. Uh, and at the very center we have, uh, so this jam made with the red onion mulberry and wine and a jelly uh, of uh, mallet wine.
testing menu. So we have uh, two different testing menu, so I have to select different way to balance with the texture of the, of the menu. I can say that the, the people, so actually we can play like uh, all the good red wine or good uh, white wine, not exactly like a uh, chicken is the white meat, should be only the white wine, no. But actually you can play with around the world. We have different menu. One is more classic, so it's really more representing uh, Lorraine family and some of his signature. And one is more uh, of a creation of what we do here. Uh, and, uh, but in both menus, really what people can expect is the effect of really integrating these local ingredients in our, uh, in our techniques. So what we think is that we can carry our techniques, we can carry our background, our knowledge, but we just need to source locally and adjust to it. Uh, and I think that's something that is very playful because we have opportunity to create something slightly different, something new. Uh, so it's interesting for us as a professional, but I think also for our public. It's, uh, there's a touch of uh, exotic touch, but really light. I think when you eat here, you can still feel like it's a, a very a French restaurant. There's no fusion there. The flavor, uh, the notes, they're very French. Uh, it's just the ingredients that they're local. customer come to Gem, I want them to be relaxed, to have uh, uh, experience uh, different flavors and, and really uh, play with their feelings uh, to bring up eventually memories or uh, something, stimulate creativity, stimulate some, some reaction in them. Uh, I want it to be chilled and not uh, something stiff like normally fine dining is. Uh, we like to be affordable, approachable, we try to promote something that is really more democratic, let's say, in terms of, in terms of food, where people can, uh, if, if they are open to it and they, they, they have a certain interest uh, and uh, curiosity, uh, to really uh, deep in the, in the experience and just discover uh, our work.